it's been very hard. Um, sorry. Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from the family of a local teen accused of attacking three women. Relatives of 17-year-old Kyle Faragudi showed up to support him in court today in Sarpy County. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. I'm Jennifer Griswold. While the judge delayed his sentencing, his family came to his defense. Came to the Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink is at the Sarpy County Courthouse with more. Emily? For months, Faragudi's mother and grandmother declined to comment about the allegations brought against the 17-year-old. But when the judge delayed his sentencing for a second time, they decided to comment. It's very hard. Like I stated, being a mother and a woman, it's very hard. Um, you don't ever think, you know, a child is ever going to do this. A few months ago, 17-year-old Kyle Faragudi pleaded guilty to assaulting and trying to strangle a 26-year-old dancer in December of 2013. He's really embarrassed about it, that he did this. And I mean, given the circumstances, he said that, you know, she the way she was communicating with him and the way that they had conversation, you know, and talked back and forth. You know, he kind of thought it was like a girlfriend situation where he could meet up with her and, you know, they kind of talked about exchanging of money. Gina Faragudi said her son was 16 years old when he reached out to what she described as an escort on Facebook. Gina says he admitted things got violent when the woman would not give Kyle his money back. At what point did you decide that, wait a minute, this is a minor child? You, you could see that right away. This, this shouldn't even have happened. Faragudi's grandmother Diana says her grandson shouldn't have done what he did, but she thinks the 26-year-old woman should be charged for soliciting prostitution. His goal was college. And now with this, there won't be that. The judge continued the sentencing for the strangulation and assault charge until next Monday, but that's not all for Kyle. He also faces similar charges against him in Sarpy County for doing similar things to a Bellevue woman. And he also faces a charge in Douglas County for things involving a teen. Reporting outside the Douglas, excuse me, the Sarpy County Courthouse, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.